special time for for creation shows uh, like and it culminates with karaoke which has become Woo! my favorite thing to do one of the only one of the only things i think this weekend that you don't have to pay for uh, we don't sing anymore because i always felt like karaoke was kind of like before it was like watching the actors masturbate like i was singing them sing but not in a good way not in a good way but you see that on saturday night you see them sing on saturday so i already go to a concert so this so our karaoke is about you <laughs> We back up, sing you, Sam plays the drums. It's going to be really fun. So Wait, Sam you. plays the drums? Woo! Yeah. Not well. Not well. Uh, and we, I, didn't say, I didn't say that we back up singing well either. Enthusiastically, but badly. But it's really, 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 really fun, and I hope you guys will come out and join us tonight. Woo! Yeah. For real, though. For real. Okay, so uh, I, I usually format this in a different way. So how, how, do, how do we format this? Are we going to, are people going to ask us questions? Or however you want, DJ. Gary. Yeah. Ask us questions. <laughs> ask us anything. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I guess if there are new people here, there are, there are mics on the sides. Oh, how many people here is the first convention? <laughs> Welcome! How many of you started watching during the pandemic? <laughs> How many people rewatched during the pandemic? <laughs> How many people were dragged here by somebody who doesn't want the show? Yeah! <laughs> Has anyone here never seen the show? I've only seen two episodes. <laughs> I can't watch it. It's like. Here's the thing, so one of my friends once got nominated for an Oscar, and I went out at a housewarming party, he did mushrooms, and I found him naked and crying in my upstairs bathroom. I, could, I, was like, I, was like, I can't watch your Oscar nominated performance now. I know all these people. I can't watch this show. It's too weird. It's weird to watch. It's very weird for me to watch people I know. Like, or there's also nothing worse than when I'm with a group of people that know me, and they're watching me do something. It's so awful. It's so, you know what I mean? Because I do this. Oh, I know that face. Oh, you do that all the time. I'm like, not now, mother! <laughs> or they're like, ask me how you talk. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's how I'm pretending! It's how I paid the electricity bill for 23 years. Leave me alone. Wait, so you've never had a friend come over and put on something that you've been in? Have you ever had that happen? I hate it. No, I tell them to stop or get out of my house. I control everything that happens within those walls. I own this place. Uh, I'm too polite to, to do that, but that's, that sounds like a good policy. They literally come to your house and turn on a show you're in? Yeah. Like, look at you! Yeah. No, no, don't you say this? Get the hell out of here with that? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, oh, let's, can we not do that? Let's watch something else. Absolutely. That's never happened to me. It's happening. I've had people threaten it. I've had people on their phones like, and they'll screw with me like that, but at my house? <laughs> Who touched my remote control at my house? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's open up the floor to some questions. Hello, what's your name? Hi. Uh, I'm Addie. Nice Hi, to Addie. meet you guys. Hi, Addie. Hi, Addie. Hope you guys are doing good this morning. We're killing it. Excellent. Hope you're doing well this morning. Well, I'm shaking, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, so I guess my question for you guys is, what is something that you don't know how to do that you would like to learn how to do? Ooh, Drumming. So good. <laughs> Backup singing? So many things. I, 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 I mean, the real answer is there. there is an endless, if, if there's a skill that I know exists, I would want to learn it, including drumming and backup singing. Um, I think both of those are useful, and I, I guess we'll practice uh, at karaoke today. I'm going to try the drums too, that sounds fun. It's so, fun. there's so many of the best time. They, I, I thought they always like closed it off because they didn't want us to touch it. <laughs> That's so, <laughs> I mean, they don't, they don't put like razor wire there. <laughs> I like that can't do that too. That's the thing. Like, if there's like a cloth over it, I won't touch it. No, no I should stop checking so many things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He takes off his shoes, we'll bring it up to our house, and then won't step over a cloth. Say sorry to the drums. Yeah. Um, I actually am a decent backup singer, so I don't need to learn that. But I, I'm enrolled in. I've enrolled in pottery classes in the fall. Because there's a TV show on it called The Great Pottery Throwdown. It's like a great British baking show, but it's with pottery. It is so wonderful. I'm addicted to it. I watched all five seasons of it over the course of like a week. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And now everybody wants to take pottery classes. So, I go, so I'm enrolled in them in the fall. I'm on a, a waiting list. So all of you are going to get the shaped mugs and handprint ashtrays. <laughs> For real though, I'm just going to start bringing them to panels and, and, and making them my gift for the World's Crappiest Game Show. So I, I can't have a whole house full of that, but also I'm not going to throw away my works. I'm an artist. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a lot of crappy stuff. I double my son's taking it. Oh really? You guys can talk about it. Uh, amazing. I'm going to bond with your kid over like our crappy pottery exploits. Yeah. I'm excited about it though. I'm actually, uh, so I do have a skill that I am currently learning. It's, uh, I'm learning how to direct for the first time. Like, <laughs> uh, so I just shadowed Richard Smith Jr. on Kung Fu. I've been shadowing like any director that I've been working with, and it's, it's been a, an incredible process, and part of learning how to direct is also learning about a hundred other people's jobs on set. Um, so it's, it's been a lot, it's been really fun, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and, now I'm actually doing it. It's exciting. Awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I think there's more questions on this. Oh, there's two sides. That was another good question, by the way. Hi. You guys have asked me that. Who are you? Uh, my name's Kath. Hi. Huh? Um, so my question is, do you guys have a favorite, uh, favorite 80s rock song? Ooh, it's so good. 80s music's my jam. <laughs> there's so many coming to my head. Like, I, like, like, does that have to be a rock song? Can it be like, an 80s music song? Yeah, any 80s. Okay. Those songs don't like Duran Duran. I don't know. I love that song. Let's see. Oh, the pressure. Big Country. Yeah. In a Big Country by Big Country from the album Big Country. Big Country. I love that song. It's a great brush your teeth song. Yeah. 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 It's a great brush your teeth song. I don't know if I know enough 80s songs to make them I will punch you in the face! So, listen to what just happened to me the other day. So, I have a crush on somebody in Canada. He's very handsome, but he's like 33 years old. So we were having a farewell dinner, and, and he was asking me some questions, because he's an aspiring actor. And then I told him, I was like, oh, I told him, he asked me if I ever got punked. And I was like, oh, I actually did get punked. And this was the year I did it. He was like, wow, I think I was like 11 then. And I was like, I will bend back both of your fingers when you put your hands when you're least expecting it. I was like, at some point in our friendship, I'll come over and bend your fingers back. <laughs> because you can't really punish an adult, but you can. And, and as a matter of fact, I wish I recorded this because I told him, because another friend once told me that I look like I was an attractive older man and I remember this on a panel in front of a thousand people at, at San Diego Comic Con. And, and I got, I'm bad all over again. It's about 11? Alright, sorry, I'm sorry, Oswald. He, he likes girls on film also. I have a vast disparity. I love all the old people. Like, I love Joey, you know, Poison. Yeah. Woo! I've seen Poison in concert four times. I love them. They're amazing. I, I have heard of those names. I've definitely heard of those names. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be playing a lot of them at karaoke. <laughs> You'll hear a lot of this stuff at karaoke. But that's actually, is Carry On My Wayward Son from the 80s? Yeah. 70s. I'm, I'm come over there. We, come over there. No, as a collective, we didn't even.
you know? You have to like pay homage to the, the actual 80s music, all those like erasure and like, remember all those def, uh, total uh, yeah. and uh, the Smith is yeah. Queen and Oh, partially. <laughs> Madonna! She's from the Emmys. Cindy Lauper! Get out of here! Celine Dion, is she? That she's Canadian. No. No? No. no. Alright. No. I'm, I'm gonna stop again. <laughs> and Celine Dion speaks English. She makes me crazy. She makes me crazy. I'm like, you've been here 55 years. And how, I'm so, how do you say? Epi. You know Epi! <laughs> Your stick. <laughs> Any art, anything that's artificial drives me crazy. I can't even watch professional porn. I don't like. I do not like any, anything that is an alien. I cannot watch. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you for 45 minutes. Hi there. Hi. I was wondering, what is one thing you took from the show that you'll always keep forever? Mr. Fizzle, that took the puppet. <laughs> you probably didn't mean an item that we stole. <laughs> it was confession. I, I kept the Kevin Tran death card. I will probably keep that forever, until I die. And then... <laughs> Sam, do you keep anything? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what were really weird about that, weren't they? Like, like, yeah, like, I, I, got, I, I hesitate to say what I took because I had help and I don't want anyone to have the show. You know I have the nightgown. Oh. And several other items. <laughs> It's something you took $40,000 from, like, from, like, from the budget. No. I left for $40,000. Like, no. <laughs> I was going to say, um, uh, Tiffany, 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 permanent muscle damage from all my... I'm just getting permanent muscle damage. Something that you'll always have. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> That's and, my favorite answer. You know, a knowledge of how to disassemble a weapon. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Woo! I'll never use it. That'll, that'll come in handy. Never yeah. know. I like that. And how to flip a person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which I never ended up using. They taught it to me. Oh. That's what was supposed to happen the first episode Mary came back to life. When Dean reaches out, it's like, are you real? Instead of like arm barring and throwing face first on the ground, it was supposed to be a whole flip thing. And I practiced that for three weeks because I didn't know how to do any of it. And I get to the set, it's 10.30 at night, they're like, we got 15 minutes to get this. Oh, and we're doing something different. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're not. <laughs> and then they had to quick teach me how to do this thing, and Dean's Jensen's face first in like the wet grass and mud and have him like with an arm bar, I got bare feet, my foot's against his jaw and he's like, you, you have to actually turn my arm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know, arm bar. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm like, well, I, I didn't want to turn and hurt you. And he goes, no offense, I'll just turn it back. <laughs> I would see them cooking something up and I would run to the hills. 
I got pranked. Yeah. I got pranked. Did you get pranked? A couple of times. <laughs> like mostly trying to get me to break, like to laugh during takes and stuff. Like, yeah. like yeah. Uh, I, I've told this one quite a bit, but this question comes up often, so I'm going to repeat some stuff. Um, so there was a scene where I was dressed as uh, Corporal Bobby Brown. I was like some sort of, <laughs> and I was in a morgue. And you know, Garth could never just put on a suit. And so the FBI agent. So I was, you know, I was like a Texas Ranger. And so this time I was some sort of military guy. And so the the scene is that we go into the we go into the morgue, and Jared is reading the coroner's report. And I go up and I want the coroner's report. And he reluctantly gives it to me. I read through it and then hand it back to him. Easy scene. Well, so we shot their coverage first, and then when it was my coverage, I opened up to read the coroner's report, and Jared has taken the coroner's report and taken stick figures and make them do the most terrible things to each other. <laughs> all over the thing. And I was like this, not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> so then later, some, I hate mayonnaise more than any substance on this whole planet. I hate it. It's disgusting. And they don't give you a choice about it either. They just put it on your sandwich. You cannot remove mayonnaise. <laughs> anyway, so one day I... Because they couldn't get me, they upped the thing. They put uh, mayonnaise inside the handle to my trailers when it came out. And it was perfectly done. It was all over my hand. So I'm out there like this. <laughs> yeah. So they got me that. And then another time, they, did you know that fart comes in a can? And they yeah. fart canned my trailer. So like stuff like that. Yeah, I know. I, wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that traumatic. The mayonnaise I'm still pissed off about. <laughs> Not uh, my door handle. It was awful because we were out there and it was, it was my dominant hand. So I have like, you know, like my beverage and my cell phone and my my script pages here, and I'm like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was no way you could obviously I couldn't open the thing because there's more mayonnaise in it. I have a hand thing. I can't touch anything. Wait, so what'd you do? Yeah, uh, yeah somebody came over and helped me. Um, <laughs> There's a thing about this show and me, though. They always, it's like, when I first got my werewolf claws, they were glued on from the knuckle up and down, and then I started using the Lee Press-On claws at the end. Like, I was like, we may look exactly the same, but I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pull my pants up when I went to the bathroom. Because I, you couldn't fit in from here. Ah. Yeah. So what ever happened? Yeah, I, I, got, I got pranked a couple of times. The worst, worst one was, uh, last scene of the day, it was a scene with me, Jared Jensen. Um, Mostly me and Jensen, and so, but Jared had to be there, and so halfway through the scene, Jared discovered that I was ticklish, and, and so it took a long time to finish because he would not stop trying to tickle me with his legs under the table in very inappropriate places. And when I finally got him to stop, Jensen started. And the only way we could actually finish the scene because like I, I, I was feeling the pressure of wanting to go home. I, I just had to leg lock both of them with one leg each. <laughs> In a very awkward position I was, I was trying to finish the stream, uh, the, the scene with the straight face. It was, I was proud of that moment. But, uh, <laughs> it took a lot to get there. Thank you. Thank you. So my question is, is there ever been a question that you hope you get asked on a panel because you're like, I have the perfect answer for this if someone ever asks me? <laughs> I never remember what people ask me. I never remember what people ask me. <laughs> I, I, I give about 30% of the answer and then forget what I was talking about and talk about something else. That sounds about right. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I mean, I've never prepped answers and you just, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a random, a random surprise every yeah. time. So we ask you a question. And then you, you answer somebody, then you go off on a tangent, then you remember somebody who's wronged you, and it's something you're mad. <laughs> and then you can go and answer that. Yeah. And then you're like, I don't know what I was talking about. And then you say, thank you so much for your question. That, that's 100% of the time for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, is that rational? That's okay. Thank you. Um, uh, that's also in my real life. Like, have I just carry on, and then about 10 minutes later, I'm like, wow, I'm still talking. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> it just happens. It happens. I entertain myself. I can't speak for anybody else. <laughs> yeah, I think in life when I've had that, like, usually it's like, you're in an argument with a friend or something, and, and you're like, oh, I can't wait till they say that thing, and then I will say this. 
and they never say the thing that they need them to say. That's the only time I've ever had that feeling where I'm like, oh, I can't wait, and it, it, it's never come up. I've never had that moment where I'm like, ha ha! Yeah. I made out with somebody last week on a date. I made out last week and I made out with somebody. It was not, it was not the best, but it happened. And it wasn't the guy that called me old. Maybe. He just, he just had that moment. Yeah. Anyway, my question is for uh, any of you, or all three of you, hopefully. How did you react when you were first invited to be on the show? Yeah, I got a job. <laughs> I turned the show down when they first offered it to me. I did. I would, Hear me out. <laughs> I was coming off with something else, and I was very tired. And I mean, not in my in, in my perspective. Now I was wrong, and I'm and I will uh, just stay with me. Just stay with me. <laughs> it was a seven year old show on the CW, and I did not want to be on a seven year old show on the CW. And then I, they sent me the they sent me a. Uh, uh, an episode where Jared falls down a hole and goes to hell, and then I saw what they looked like, and I'm not, I'm not going to be on a seven-year-old show on the CW where the leads are this good looking. And I was like, why, why would I put myself through that? And so then Jared, I think it was Jared, who had known for a while, was like, uh, they, they actually wrote the, the character with me in mind, and uh, which was so nice, and I came and did it, and then Jared, while I was filming, was like, there's, there's a convention in Birmingham, England that year, and he was like, I'm, I'm going to get you invited. And I went and, had, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe just that one appearance um, had, had resonated. And, uh, and obviously, it, showed, it really taught me something about sort of my life path and coming from a place of yes, unless the answer has to be no. Because I've gotten so much out of just this, that one yes than I've gotten out of any other yes in my entire career. Here we go. Here we go. And just my, my friend group. Either, so we love doing this, because especially these cre the creation shows, because we feel like we're putting on a show, right? They're more interactive. We talk to you guys. I'm at my table for the, the bulk of it, just for Hayden. Come say, come say Hayden. Um, and but also for us, these are our reunions. These are times. Sam and I just talked about this last night. These are the times of year that we all get to see each other. And so that one yes gave me this and this and so much other, so many other things. So yeah. I, I, so I did see Yay, I got a job, but I also actually turned down the show originally too. <laughs> Not because I came off another show, but I had two offers and they conflicted with each other. So the other one was a, a series regular on a pilot that was with a fairly big company and I, I could only do one and they didn't really give me a choice. Well, I'm like, well, I'm a guest star on this or I die or the series regular. So I chose the series regular. It turns out it was the same company and they didn't want to lose an actor uh, to their own show. So I, they kind of figured it out that I could do both. Pilot didn't go and so it, it really worked <laughs> out. <laughs> but a lot of times that's the reason why actors turn down jobs. Like, you, get, you never, there'll be tumbleweeds blowing across your career for a year and then you get offered two jobs at the same time and you can only do one of them. And why would you take a job when you die? Or as opposed to a job that you could go to every week? It makes sense. That's all of my jobs. <laughs> you die, you? I die in everything. <laughs> How many times have you died for real? Would no, you say you died? For real, dozen? No, not for real. <laughs> no, a dozen just on Supernatural. Uh, no, I, I was electrocuted once. I was eaten by wild dogs. I got shot. Was Mary, all, 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 all no, was these Mary. are all different shows. You got eaten by wild dogs? What show was that? I was the first ever killer on Criminal Minds. I wish I got to kill you! That would be so great! I got killed by James Vanderbeek. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, this is a creepy story. So, I show up, it's the first week after Christmas vacation. I don't really watch when I'm eating and drinking over Christmas. Like, mimosas all day long for two hours. And I'm rolling and they're like, you're going to be in underwear. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it was in a barn, and they had my arm, I'm kneeling, I had my arm 
my arms tied to the sides of the stall, and I'm supposed to get eaten by these wild dogs. Because I was a Jesse. <laughs> so, right? Gross. So, they have these two snuff dogs, and they were gigantic. They were like, I'm not kidding, like, their backs like, came up to my, over my head. And then they took some kind of like hair gel and made them all mangy looking. And they had them like in this little cage, like to the, it was a chain link fence with the door, but it went up like to the ceiling of the, of the barn. They must have had owls or something in there. Well, <laughs> the dog trainer, I'm sitting there, I'm a legit tie. Not like with, you know, handcuffs, but like ropes, like I can't get out myself. And I'm sitting there like this, it's freezing warm. The, the guy's going like this to the dogs and they're going, Bleh! and they're jumping like this hot, like Bleh! and they've got like, mangy fur. And I'm like, so, they're not really like ferocious, right? Just, oh, no, no. But if they get out, don't move. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get hazard pay. <laughs> it was awful. I survived. It was not fun. It was a little scary. Were they on your face while you were being torn apart? Did you no, no, no. No, out? no, God, no, no, thank God. I had That's to like, so embarrassing. Some, no, I had to do some like post in post. I had to do some screaming, but they showed it just from the outside of the barn. Because. Uh, <laughs> That would, that's always so horrifying when you have to turn into a creature or you are being uh, eaten to death by wild dogs or something. <laughs> when, you have to when you have to simulate that or you have to pretend you're doing it in front of a crew of people who are all like this. <laughs> that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so Supernatural, I had to dissolve one time. I, was, I came back as a character piece. <laughs> and even better, I had um, black dots all over my face because they were CGIing me back and forth between the other girl that was playing the same role. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had to like, like I'm melting and throwing up ash. Like it was, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> it was embarrassing. It's right like, but if you don't commit to it, it looks terrible. Like when they edit it together. So you have to, so like turning into wearables like this. <laughs> That's what turning into wearables is like. And then they add the magic in, but if you don't commit to it, it looks like yeah. you look like you look, you're like you look exhausted. You look like an exhausted person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have to go for it. Yeah. There's nothing worse than an over it actor. You know what I mean? You have to commit to this stuff even when it's embarrassing. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> that was a good question. Oh, and, and I think that was an example of. We, that, we didn't, that, we, wasn't the that wasn't the question. No, that was the question. We answered the question. We answered the question. Yeah. We answered 30% of it in the name of the review being dissolving and getting torn to death by the world. Hey, did it aid the defense rest? See if that's the way this is what happens. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, was it over here? Where does it come from? Was it over here? Oh, it was over there. Oh, here. You were right. It was over there. I got it. Hi. Thank you. Hi, guys. My name's Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. Um, Rochelle. My question is this. What was your favorite scene to film? On this show? Yes. <laughs> It's so hard. Because there's so many different kinds. Like, I had my favorite fight scene. I had my favorite crying scene. I had my favorite laughing scene, which is very few and far between. <laughs> yeah, I, I have one of each, too. I have, like, a, a favorite uh, hunting scene. I have... I really liked it when I... You know, like I, I got thrown around a lot. I got my favorite landings. Um, <laughs> I can go the other way though. The most uncomfortable scene that I shot was in the very end, the very my very last shot or scene of my very last episode. Me and my wife have to dance in a window <laughs> for like two or three hours while they. And I was like, I don't think they can see us because we're literally in in the window. They're outside filming. You know, they're they're getting ready to get in the car. We're just doing this. Oh yeah, how have you been? Yeah, he's right. Oh, 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 you're married now, right? So that that that. And so I was like, I don't think they can see us anymore. And they're like this, keep on dancing! And we have to do this for like two or three hours. It's so embarrassing. 
Uh, I do have a favorite scene. I, it was from my first episode. It's the, the running, like, where Kevin runs away from Sam. Um, I, I come from the world of stunts. I like to do physical things. That was the only physical thing I got to do on the show. And then I was stuck on this boat for a while. And then in the library. I forgot about that. Um, I was in your boat for a, like a whole season. There was something called something follies. Fuzzy follies? Fizzles follies. Fizzles follies. Fizzles follies. Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird. I, I did not enjoy my time on the Fizzle's Fall. It can't have been nice. I mean, that's not for money. Did Sam catch you? Uh, no, Meg stopped at... No. Meg clotheslined me. Uh, but it, it was like, that was the first time I met Jared, too. And so it was, it was kind of a fun thing, because... You walk in and like, this guy's gonna chase you. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I mean, that's the thing. So Jared, who's also, like, we're both very competitive, and this is when I learned that. Like, right off the top, it was like, oh, we're doing a, a running scene, and Jared's like, oh, okay, well, you know, he was doing this thing, and I, well, he was walking backwards, giving me a head start. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a sprinter, like, I came from that world. I'm like, all right, I know I'm wearing loafers, but um, I'm pretty sure I, I can do this. And we, we did the first take, and I'm like, Psh. And they're like, oh, okay, hold on, we gotta like zigzag this, because like, you can catch that. And Jared was like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and there was just that moment, and even though I had just met him, it, it was still very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> so it was my favorite scene for many reasons. <laughs> I literally cannot narrow it down. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> <All> Hail Randy. <laughs> 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 Getting coffee was her favorite scene, right? <laughs> Mary only, Winchester's only drink bourbon. Do they drink bourbon? There's probably bourbon in the coffee. <laughs> Incentive. Please hold. Please hold. So much better now? Much better. So much better. There it is. <laughs> it's silly, it's only half caffeinated, but it makes such a difference. <laughs> no one wants me on full no. It's not safe. It's not safe. <laughs> oh, so, uh, are you going to tell us a favorite moment you don't have in Kenny Art Dance? Do you have a favorite moment? Do you have a favorite scene in the entire 15 seasons of the show? Oh, that's a good. Let's turn it back on you. That's what <laughs> favorite was. One scene. Only no. one scene. Do, do any of you three have to be in it? <laughs> <laughs> In two years from now, I'm going to be on the stage like, this woman wants to ask me? Uh, is that going to be in the scene? No, we don't have to be in it. Of course not. This is, this is about you. Did you ever in any scenes with Audrey? No. no. And I was, I finally got to work with Audrey, but I never yep. was in any scenes with DJ. No. So make one that has me in Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Go through your roller dance. No, let's see it. I want to see it. These two people. <laughs> No, I any love any seat, fifty seats. I love her seat. I, it, uh, it was a really nice, lovely seat. I as well. Until you blew up. Until I blew up, yeah. <laughs> How did you die? Uh, the, second, the third time he killed myself. That was Comic Con. It was like a, it was like a, like a suicide vest. Yeah. Suicide vest. Yeah. Uh, was it was an explosive vest. Yeah, in the alternate universe. Yeah. Uh, alternate universe. Don't watch this show. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All what there, there's there's I, I, I think I got to a place where that answer, I thought you guys were starting to screw with me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, favorite scene, any time in the entire duration of the show, we don't have to be in it. In fact, now expect us not to be. <laughs> That's an easy question for me. Um, my favorite is the barn scene from the finale. Wow. We were supposed to be in that commercial. We were going to be in we were all in the clip package after that, after the, <laughs> the, the farewell of Who Lived. Well, maybe, was it not just Who Lived, it was everybody, right? Yeah. 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 It was supposed to be the bar with everyone who had died. Yeah, at the very end. And then, yeah. I guess a few people would not be there because they were supposed to be still breathing. No, but I'm talking about, it wasn't a scene, this was just a clip package, right? Yeah. What, was there a clip package? Oh, you mean like the, oh, like, the, end of the Yeah, at the end of the scene, that was at the very, very, very end of the show, right? No. Was it? It was the 19th episode. Oh, right. Yeah. So I, I did not All the crew and all, like, everybody was in like the little video. Or was that on the deep? 
Wow, it's only been a few years. Ago. Was this was, was this when everybody was saved? We realized that mankind was saved, and then yeah. they sh right. I, I thought yeah. that was it. Yeah, but you guys were dead, so then you were in the clips and stuff. That we should, we should watch that. No, we came back to life. Didn't we come back to life? What? We didn't come back to life? Everybody's dead? This show sucks! Everybody died? Oh, eventually. I died of old age. I know I did. I moved to Pasadena to open up a bed breakfast for my wife. I got killed prematurely many times. <laughs> yeah, I was a ghost for most of the latter half. <laughs> did, you, did you come back as a ghost? Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. And then I went to the bands. In fact, actually, I shouldn't have been in the last scene because Kevin wasn't allowed in heaven or something. Jack fixed it. Oh, he went to oh, oh, there, there you go. Did not realize that. All right, Jack fixed it. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense now. I didn't know that. I love Alex Thanks, so much. Don't, don't you know oh, Alex? Alex is Alex. the best. Yes. I'm hanging out with him tomorrow night. No, we actually not coming to this. No. He's usually my Saturday night plans, and now he's not coming to this. He won't be in Kansas City either. I'm impressed. <laughs> he's a great guy. Less, yeah. I love him. What? Do you love him a little less now? No, I mean, I'm mad at him. I'm mad at him for not being invited here. This is clearly his fault, and he, even though he had nothing to do with it. I'm going to bend his fingers back next time I see him. <laughs> Alright, thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you. Answered it. Hi, um, my question is, what is your favorite project, whether it be acting, directing, anything else, that you've done outside of Supernatural? Uh, you mean like, anything. professionally? <laughs> Could be professionally or amateur? I opened up produ a production company right before the pandemic, and our first film just got greenlit. And <laughs> So it's a small budget, we only have $1.7 million, but we're going to make a full-length feature in 28 days, and we just got our director of photography signed on, and this she's the person who did Muscle and Flow, so I'm super, super excited. But I have to be naked, so I can start exercising next month, so, that's, so it may not be my favorite project, but right now it's my favorite, because it's, it's exciting, because I begin to do things I've never done before, like the hiring of crew and having pre-production meetings and all that stuff, so it's fun. And I'm, and I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, I think the the first feature film that I ever produced uh, was with a group of friends. We went to the Philippines. We we went with a script and our team, one-way flights. We didn't have a budget yet. We didn't know who we were going to work with or anything. And within two weeks of landing in the Philippines, we, we raised our, our budget. And we did, I think we spent like three, four months in the Philippines shooting this entire movie that we had, like, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but it was such a fun experience, and I still remember, like, signing checks for payroll for the first time, and feeling oh, super cool. weird. And people, like, calling me boss all of a sudden, like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, uh, but it was such a wonderful experience. We only had $200,000, uh, but in the Philippines, that was, like, a $2 million movie. Yeah. So we had, like, private cars. And Where did y'all shoot in the Philippines? We shot in Manila, mostly. Okay. But it was enough, like, we had, we, we, we had enough to rent out a private airport and deck it out. Like, it was kind of insane how much we had for, for that movie. And it, it was like this little indie movie, and when we pitched it, we're like, so we're not making this to sell, we just want to do film festivals. And they're like, okay. And it was such a magical experience that, like, I look back now, I'm like, that, I don't think that, will ever happen again, and that probably shouldn't have happened in the first place. Um, so, that project for sure. Um, I take like a little piece of all my jobs with me, and right now we're starting, my husband and I, we, we adapted a novel, and I've got two other stories I'm developing, and it's really fun because I like to imagine myself the boss. <laughs> but those actually haven't like, come to fruition yet. And then I, I think about the beginning of my career, early, early on, and some of those, I only did comedy in the beginning. Um, my first job was on Seinfeld, and then I did pretty much every sitcom except for Frasier, for some reason. <laughs> I, the one I wanted to be on the most. Um, <laughs> the casting director was so tough. He was very scary. Um, and I would go in there and be like, oh, he's like, thank you. And they'd go, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that probably 
explains why I was in the Um But, I mean, I, I, I was on Friends, which was like a weird, like, iconic moment that you were living and you're realizing what you're doing at the time. It was just one episode. Did you realize why you were doing Friends? That, was, it, was it already yeah, inside? Yeah, it was season like, four. So all right. it was like the So it was the juggernaut time. already. Oh, yeah. It was bizarre. It was kind of surreal to be standing there with these people. And then the music starts playing at the beginning of the taping, and you're like, um, but I think one of my best experiences was I shot up an episode of a show called Wings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I had, I was like depressed when it was over. I loved everyone on the cast and the crew, and it was just so like you cry laughing for the whole week. And it just was like a pivotal moment for me of becoming. Like, I was like a guest lead. Like I had a ton to do, and I was like, oh, it was weird because I had tons of jobs before that. But this was the moment where I was like. I can hold my own with these guys, you know? And um, it was really, really fun. And then I didn't get to do any more comedy. C casting is weird like that. They're like, no, 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 she's a comedy girl. Or no, 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 no she's a drama girl. Like, you can, can't be both things at one time for some reason. It's weird, isn't it? I haven't been a comedy in so long. I really, and I started out only doing I, I couldn't get cast in a drama. Yeah. And exactly. now I can't find a good comedy. Someone make They're different though. They're not really sitcoms right now. Yeah, I think for that reason, one of the shows that I'm developing is a comedy because I've always wanted to do a comedy, but I've yeah. you know, never gotten those auditions. So. Yeah. If you're not getting the thing, make your own. Correct? Yeah. That's right. All right, is that over there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. I got one. My name is Kiara, and I actually have a two-part question for you guys. Perfect. We're not going to remember it. Two parts. <laughs> the final was small with one. Hey, we all have those days. It's okay. <laughs> but you, you can prompt us. Um, out of any animals in the entire world, what animals would you guys be and what animals would your characters be? Oh, that's a good question. Ah. <laughs> I know. Tell me. I would be an owl. <laughs> and Mary would be a lioness. This is the second time you said the word owl just on this panel, which is a word that usually doesn't come up during panels. <laughs> owl. Owl. Yeah, you said it twice. Um, I love owls. I think they're, they're so weird. Yeah. Just this. They're weird and wise. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Weird and wise. Also, they're small and you wouldn't mess with one. You can already tell, you don't want to mess with an owl. Don't fuck with an owl. And do not fuck with an owl. And I will come over there. I probably would be a giraffe because I'm already I have I already have those proportions. Um, I love giraffes. I got to beat them in New Zealand, and it was a magical, magical moment. And Garth would be well, obviously he's a dog. It would be a dog. Uh, I think me the the one trait that me and Kevin share is that we're we're forever students. Um, him more successful in the academia route than, than I was, even though he was pulled out of it, I pulled myself out of it, but I, like, I, I believe in education. I just don't believe that school is a place for me to get it. Um, and so, I think the animal that we would share would be an octopus. Uh, All right. They're very intelligent creatures. They're constantly learning, adapting to their environment, and like if I feel a trend in my life, that's what it is. I also saw my octopus teacher on Netflix, and it, it broke my heart. It was so beautiful. And I just love octopuses after that. It was high. Octopi, thank you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I learned something new. Octopus. Octopi. 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 Octopodes. There's three. Do you know that the word cannoli? It, it cannoli? It's not, it's not cannoli. You, you can't have one cannoli. It's canola. <laughs> Everybody says that wrong. That sounds like oil. I, I would like a cannoli. No you can't have a cannoli. You can only have a cannolo. I just learned that. <laughs> cannolo? But you don't ever have just one. Yeah. So you have a cannolo. Right? Have a cannoli over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just learned that. I just bought um, a big blue octopus painting to put on my wall. Oh. I was a new patient. Since it's your, it's not you, it's your spirit. It's very cute. Yes. Uh, Hi there. Follow the octopus pages on Instagram. <laughs> they are so fascinating. I've never seen this movie. I haven't watched it. So I watched some of the octopuses too. Yes. Octopi. <laughs> <laughs> Canolos. <laughs>
It's time to get your octopuses on stage. <laughs> That joke was before you were joining the, the no it wasn't. <laughs> did you know that did you know that Den gets 58.6 millimeters of, of rain every year? I did not know that. Yeah. Wow. I don't need to something else. And and you know that they won the, the bid to host the Olympic Games in 1976, what? but then they rejected it. Did you know they invented the cheeseburger here? I, I did not! <laughs> that is incredible. That is incredible.